Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Holmes Hobbies House. We have some updates for you today, so I figured, hey, let's make a video. Uh, there's pretty much nothing new over there other than the mini bike on the floor, ready for action. She's always ready. Misty has been the most dependable electric bike that I own, which is saying a lot. I've owned quite a few. We have added some drywall to the walls. Uh, you can tell the lighting is pretty poor because, you know, we had to throw in this thing for now. At any rate, got the drywall up. We'll have to do a little bit of mud work and tape work. And I've also threw down a sheet of uh, vinyl floor just to have some water resilience in here. And I have pulled the, the uh, toilet and reset it no less than three times this week. My buddy that's been living here a little bit uh, is out of town, so I figured, hey, perfect timing. Then I invited some friends over one night, and I was like, oh, hey, some ladies are coming over. I better put that toilet back in. And then the next day we were laying the floor, so pulled it back out. That's, uh, yeah, that's my life right now. But that's about the only stuff that we have on the interior of the house that's notable. Not that notable, but what we do have on the exterior is what's really important here is some we'll call them rock crawling courses but it's really landscaping as far as anybody's concerned so you can see i rented a bobcat and got some gravel dumped out here and some rocks it was a 18 ton load of what they call shot rock which is just blasted right off the wall into the truck essentially 25 tons of one inch gravel and then another 25 tons of essentially shot rock they called it uh, broken boulders because there were some larger pieces in there and it is a lot of rock it turns out i don't think it's enough but it's still enough i think we can make some landscaping courses and i just got to kind of figure out how to fill in the areas so that a, a crawler can actually get up in this stuff but i used the bobcat to kind of push it around and get the big boulders up to the surface as much as i could and just uh We'll have some fun just kind of play around with it i would tell you that i know what i'm doing with all of this but it would be a lie so i'm just kind of learning as i go along here just using the bobcat for the first time i think i did a pretty good job laying out the gravel and everything tried to not tear up the yard only where we're gonna have this will be a missouri native landscape bed right here pretty much all of this area we're getting rid of the grass and it's going to be some grasses some reeds um, some like touch me not plants butterfly garden some hummingbird plants stuff like that just uh you know something that'll be really easy to take care of is the goal and missouri natives would probably be the best ones from missouri because they're used to the very dry weather in august they're used to the very wet weather in april and so it, it makes a pretty good mix we feel uh, the neighbor was also into some landscaping and so we're going to also create a uh, water garden here missouri native landscape bed so this area will also match my yard too and you, as you can see the gravel planter that we have up by the yard is uh, extended into his front yard as well i have the landscape truck the mobile shop already in there just so we can kind of show you how big the place is i guess now on to the other landscape beds aka rock crawling courses there was enough rock that well i just didn't want it all in the front yard because who wants to be in one spot all the time right but we have one two three four five and then a sixth hidden pile in the backyard definitely some larger rocks back here i tried to put the largest rocks in the back so that we would have you know kind of the best courses for us in a more hidden setting with more shade the shade was really the prime directive of this again some larger rocks the piles need to be worked it's just a random lay i had tried to you know intentionally lay rocks well uh, you know kind of contrive a course at first and then i went and crawled on them for a while and realized that the random ones are actually the better courses so it seems you know sure there can be some placement of rocks that are that make them better some fill dirt or gravel in between that makes it where you can get up and around but I just figured, hey, we'll, we'll lay them out totally random and see how it falls. That seems to be the best way to get a good course, at least from my relatively limited experience in building courses. It's been a really long time. It really has. Again, some nice big rocks. These are uh, some of the bigger 
some of the bigger ones, these two right here, I uh, tried to place them close enough together so we could kind of get a choke point for the uh, vehicles, just, you know, yeah, a little bit less than a foot width apart. You can see it's, it'll be just right for 1.9 scalers and 2.2 rigs alike, I hope. And this pile was a lot of the extra rocks, I'll say, more gravel, more of the silt and sand. And there's a couple of big rocks that are interdispersed. And then the extra dirt that I pulled out of my neighbor's yard to make it street level where the parking is, I piled up here. So this is actually gonna be where our BMX pump track makes a sharp turn. So kind of a pump turn right here. And then the goal is to also have an, another little pump turn over here. And again, this was kind of the smaller boulders kind of the excess stuff little excess gravel little excess rock but it'll still make a, a little place to crawl and also give us a back to throw some more dirt on and make a quick little turn right here a little bmx pump turn and hopefully you don't hit the shed <laughs> coming in with too much speed and just zip right on through uh, so we'll we'll kind of integrate the rock crawling courses into having its own landscaping in each one get some missouri natives on them just so it's not nothing but a bare pile of rocks really and that'll also give some variety to kind of crawl around maybe make some little scale scenes is uh you know little little plants that they look like full-size plants when you have a crawler next to them but That'll take some time. That'll take some planning, I think, more forethought than just making random piles, I think, right? Let's see, what else do we have back here besides a, a whole lot of mess? I think that's really about it. Uh, let's see, go ahead and uh, pause it and then we'll walk up. This is the mobile landscaping truck that I purchased from Creative Surroundings Horticultural Specialists. They went out of business a couple of years ago and the truck was just sitting by the shop for a couple of years and I kept trying to buy it for them, uh, buy it from them and finally they were cheap enough on it after it sat that I picked it up for a pretty nice price. Uh, what we have here is an extra battery, a deep cycle, and I use this to charge batteries and you know have USB accessories so it doesn't discharge the main battery for the truck, which is located under this panel. There is enough room that I can get this guy in there, but I want to make a disconnect that's available so that I can disconnect this from the main battery, be able to use it, kind of discharge it some to charge up my RC car batteries, etc. And then when I go driving, put it back on the system so the alternator will charge it back up. But I also have a a wall charger in case of emergency just to keep it together what i did add and went to the missouri g6 with is this kind of cool little bed area it's really nice memory foam oh it's actually comfortable in my bed at home but uh, you know i'm not sleeping in here oh no sir that's a lie too i take naps in here all the time when i can but uh Pretty much got any rigs that we would need in here on quick notice, uh, charging supplies. We have ourselves a little pantry in the corner, just some, you know, a little bit of staples for if you get hungry. And when I go to an event, there's pretty much spare parts that I need, a very basic supply of tools. I will be installing a tabletop surface over here. I, I brought it with me to the Missouri G6 and the tabletop was just too large to manage in here. So I need to cut it down a little bit more and then we'll pretty much have a fully functioning shop it's kind of neat now during the missouri g6 i realized that the aluminum body really really pulls that cold through fast uh, it ended up being a freezing night the first night that i was there and it was it was freezing inside here so my plan before next winter is to put up foam board and maybe do a second layer on the roof of uh, you know whatever this stuff is you know some sort of landscape or, or uh, you know something some sort of paneling on top just so it's not quite so cold in here but the foam board maybe even a layer of uh you know some wood on it to make it look good uh, that probably won't happen but we can make goals and plans right so that's pretty much this idea in here is to make it comfortable a little bit more comfortable than it is already i guess and we'll be off to the races although it's functional right now which is kind of cool it survived a drive all the way to uh south side of missouri and all the way back without a hiccup so that was pretty nice to know. Well, I think that about covers it for our updates this time. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.